Hi, I'm Valerie Knowles from Knowles Produce, and today I'm gonna give you some information on how to clean up your geraniums. So I call geraniums solution plants because they are the solution to a lot of challenges that you might have. Uh, for starters, if you have a hot, hot corner of your deck or a hot, hot stoop, this is something that can handle it, okay? If you are maybe not the world's best waterer, this can handle it. Still needs water, I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute, but it can, it can handle that. If you are trying to teach your kids how to garden or the responsibilities of having plants, this is a good plant too. So here's a little bit of information about it. Loves full sun, loves hot, hot heat. It is totally fine in our Northern Virginia summers. Um, it doesn't necessarily need water every single day like a lot of other plants out there. If you do it every few days, that's generally okay. And it's not real fragile, right? It's easy to grow, easy to maintain, doesn't require a whole lot of work. But one thing that you do have to do uh, every week to 10 days or so is you need to go out and pick off the dead blooms. So they don't really fall off on their own very well. They get crunchy and dried up looking and just not real pretty. And every week to 10 days, you just go out and you find one of these dead blooms. And they're not even really a single bloom. It's a cluster of multiple blooms. So see, here's buds that are still coming up. And I do this once mine are maybe uh, 60 to 75% not good, right? I go out there and I just real quickly pinch them off. You don't need fancy clippers. You don't need He-Man strength. You just need, you just need, you know, a couple seconds every week to 10 days or so to just go through and pick out your spent blooms. Now, while you're doing that, you should also look for yellow leaves. It's quite common for the outer leaves to turn yellow like this. It doesn't mean it's dying. Doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong necessarily. But when you're picking off your dead blooms, just clip pinch these off the same way, where you just follow the stem back to the plant and pinch it right off. So you just go through every week to 10 days or so and just pick out the stuff like this. It's easy, uh, you're not gonna hurt the plant. If you pick off something like this, this one maybe could have stayed on a little bit longer because these are still kind of nice and maybe gotten that a week from now, but it's not gonna hurt anything that I pinched it off. So if you're gonna let your kids do it, they're not gonna kill the plant unless they they're really, really rough with it or something. But, you know, as long as they just did something like this, it's not going to hurt it. Water it every couple days. Uh, every day is best if you're in the habit of doing it every day. It's, it's good for you. It's good for the plant. But really, every few days, water is just fine. And then once a month, feed it with this flower tone. I love this stuff. You might have heard me talk about it before. It's an organic fertilizer. It's dry. It's slow release. You just have to use about, you know, a palm full or so once a month. It's easy to use. It's not gonna burn. If you use too much of it, you're not gonna burn your plant. And it has a zip top. I love that it has a zip top because I'm not gonna use it all in one sitting. So it's easy to work with and it really helps the flowers uh, be more numerous. Just really gets more blossoms going on your flowers. You can use it on any flowers that you've got in your yard. And like I said, it's organic. So that's all I've got for today. If you have any questions related to this, leave it in the comments. I will monitor them pretty regularly and get back to you quickly. Thank you, and you guys have a good day.